Like it or not, America is being taken over. What used to be the plotline to a disturbing movie watched on Friday night from the safety of our couch is playing out before our very eyes in middle America today, and few are willing to do anything about it. The invasion of the United States isn't happening in such a way that the news crews are flocking to report on it, and it's not politically advantageous for Congress to speak about it, so they ignore it, but it's happening nonetheless. Middle America the flyover states if you will, are being taken over by the virus that is Sharia law, brought in by immigrants or refugees or whatever sympathetic name you want to give those who are infiltrating our nation, while we watch in silence. And should you be inspired to raise your voice and make a fuss, you'll immediately be branded a racist or Islamophobe or something of similarly politically incorrect. In one small city in Missouri, the takeover is happening not only in population, but jobs and city streets. The Somalian population in Noel, Missouri, is growing by leaps and bounds, and the gainfully employed are all working at the meatpacking companies. Not only has their presence there booted many of the American union workers out of their jobs, but the new and improved employees are also demanding that the company comply with their religious constraints. Creeping Sharia is shining a light on this epidemic, hoping that the world will see what is happening under our very noses, Noel, Mo. In the far southwest corner of Missouri, refugees may be putting food on your dinner table. Abdul Qadir Abdullahi, a native of Somalia who came to the United States in 2009, estimated that 400 to 500 Somalis, along with some 60 to 70 Sudanese, many of them refugees, now live in the town of Noel where U.S. Census workers counted a bit more than 1,800 residents in the 2010 census. He makes a living as an interpreter between the residents and various community groups. Nearly everyone works for one employer, a chicken processing facility that Tyson Foods, TSN, operates. It sits across the Elk River from downtown. And starting about 10 years ago, the plant's relatively high starting wages and promises of steady work changed the town's demographics. The companies who produce food, like chicken, throughout the year they don't have layoffs, Abdullah he said, explaining Noel's main appeal to the newcomers. Obviously, it's a great thing, when an immigrant wants to get a job, that's something that is highly encouraged. It's also encouraged that anyone who plans to continue to live in a new country assimilates to that culture, which these people don't seem to be doing. Their banding together and keeping their community intact is what is problematic for many. They seem to want to keep the things that made them need to flee from their country, like Islam, and keep up those practices here, thereby contaminating our country as well. Case in point, the workers who now make up a huge portion of this meatpacking factory's workforce pushed their religion's agenda off on the company when they walked out because they couldn't pray five times a day while working. In October 2011, about 130 Somali workers briefly walked off the job during a dispute over prayer time, the Joplin Globe reported. Observant Muslims pray five times a day. At the time, workers said management changes left them unable to take rotated rigs. Tyson said its religious accommodation policies hadn't changed and that the matter was rooted in language differences. The refugees want to practice their Sharia law here, and that's one thing the city won't tolerate, he said. Sharia law refers to the set of principles that direct the moral and religious lives of Muslims. Asked to explain his views, Lathley said men in the community don't treat women well. Lydia Com, a nutrition specialist with the University of Missouri Extension, said drivers' education was found to be a need. Accidents were being attributed to new arrivals' lack of knowledge about the rules of the road. It's an issue of not knowing what the expectations are, Com said generally of a community's challenges. A lot of people aren't happy because their little town is turned into a third-world country, he said. He acknowledged the feeling of alienation likely goes both ways, 